an objectives hierarchy is an unfamiliar tool to many people. So we thought we'd use this voiceover to provide an explanation for what you're looking at. As you move from the top to the bottom of an objectives hierarchy, you go from very broad-based strategic objectives down to very specific tactical objectives. And one of the purposes of the diagram is to show how these objectives relate to one another, how the tactical specific objectives contribute to achieving the broader strategic objectives. A second use of the tool is to identify and highlight competing objectives. In any strategic decision situation, there are always multiple objectives, and very commonly, they compete with one another. A classic example from the oil patch is we all want to maximize production and minimize capital investment. You cannot do both. There is a balance to be struck. Objectives hierarchies are handy ways to identify where you have these competing objectives. So let's move through this one from the top down to the bottom. At the top of this hierarchy, we have realized value from HP HT projects. This is the primary objective. This is the objective that we're really all striving for. And all of the other objectives, we work on those so as to accomplish this one. Immediately below that, we have two fundamental objectives, safe and environmentally responsible operations, or the SHE side of things, and economic HPHT projects. It's obviously important that we have economically viable projects in order to proceed with HPHT technology. Below those, we have contributing objectives, and there are many of them on this diagram. You'll also notice that some of them contribute to both the safe and environmentally responsible operations and to the economic HPHT projects. That's normal. There are activities that we undertake and there are uh, goals we try to achieve which actually feed into both of those. In this case, we have an interesting situation because there are two groups of companies, operators and technology providers, who are interested in solving this problem. And as you might expect, they have competing objectives. This happens even when we work just with one client because the drilling group and the subsurface group very often have different objectives and competing objectives, but overall their objectives feed into a, a primary objective to realize value for shareholders. Same thing is true here. Everybody wants to realize value from these projects, but we have a good example of competing objectives off on the right-hand side of the diagram. If you look underneath Design and Implement an Effective HPHT Business Model, there's a row of five objectives there. The one right in the middle, Create Differentiated Products with Premium Pricing, is an objective of the technology providers here. The one on the far right, Enable Operators to Drill HPHT Efficiently and Economically, is really more of an objective for the operators. The operators want to solve the problem as cheaply and efficiently as possible, the technology providers want to solve the problem and make good money while doing so. Nothing wrong with this, but they are competing objectives, and they both contribute to finding effective HPHT business models, which then feed into economic HTHP projects. Now, I'm not going to read the entire diagram to you. That would be a total waste of time. When you get down to the bottom of the diagram, you're dealing with relatively specific means objectives. You can use the diagram to see the relationship between these various objectives. Uh, if you look at any given objective, by looking up the diagram from there, you can see, well, why is this objective important? What broader good does it contribute to? And if you look down in the diagram, you can see, well, okay, if we want to achieve this objective, what more tactical, specific things do we have to do or accomplish in order to achieve it? An objectives hierarchy is a tool. It's a communication tool. It's not meant necessarily to be absolutely comprehensive. Um, it's meant to be really a balance between clarity in what you're looking at and comprehensiveness. So don't be surprised if you can look at this and, and think of some other objectives to put in here. 